Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, after the debate the other day, Camera Team came out and won a- another debate. Two nights ago, Donald Trump and I had our first debate. <laughs> and I believe we owe it to the voters to have another debate. And, of course, Donald Trump jumped on that. Well, you know, when you when you don't win, it's like a fighter. When a fighter has a bad fight, gets knocked out, or loses the fight, the first thing he says is, we want a rematch. So... The only reason why you want a rematch is because you lost, okay? The loss was so bad that even Biden, Biden says, fuck this shit, and he says he's going to do MAGA. Presidential hat. Presidential seal on it. You're an autographer? Huh? Yeah. You remember your name? I don't remember my name. I'm slow. You're an old part. You're an old part. Yeah, I know, man. I'm an old guy. And you're an old part. I know you wouldn't know about that. What? I'm being old. Oh, I know. All right. I'm a young timer. You know, he reminds me of the guys I grew up with. There was always one in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm the only one. There you go, man. I, got, I, need, I need that hat. You want my autograph? Hell no. <laughs> you know my name. Come on. I ain't going that far. Yeah. You can do a selfie. There you go. Hey, they're good. Thank you. They're good. Kentucky Fried Chicken. I hope you like the pizza. Huh? You guys picked the best to get. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Um, the worst part about it is we have people like Charlemagne the Fraud who is upset at Biden for doing this. Day after your vice president has a phenomenal debate against the former president of the United States of America, Donald Trump, you, Mr. President, uh, decide to put on a hat that says Trump 2024. Now, I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary, but that doesn't seem like a show of support for your vice president to me. This race is going to be tight. And you know what? I'll give you a little secret. He hates her. He can't stand her. Be swung by just the tiniest fraction of votes, which won't fare well for the Democrats because Trump is going to challenge the results of the election. We know this. Don't act surprised when it happens. OK, there are going to be Republican elected officials all over the country who will refuse to certify the results of the election. Donald Trump's Supreme Court, in my opinion, in light of so many of their recent rulings, including but not limited to the presidential immunity ruling, which gives presidents absolute immunity from criminal prosecution in light of rulings like that. I believe they would overturn the results of the election. So Democrats only defense against that is large voter turnout. That's it. By the way, that's always their only defense against voter suppression because they can't get things like the John Lewis Voting Rights Act or the Freedom to Vote Act passed. So when you know you need that kind of turnout, why is the sitting president? Would you wear a hat in support of a person who is the op of your running mate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He is an op in regards to your administration. You, President Biden, you call him a threat to democracy. OK, if he's a threat to democracy, why are you wearing paraphernalia that supports him being president in 2024? Yeah. Mr. Biden, 
Although he looks like he was playing around and goofing off. I know he was goofing off and all that. But Mr. Charlemagne says, no, that's a, you cross the line. There's no unity with the other side. Basically what he's saying. Said you did it as a gesture of unity. You can't call someone a threat to democracy and then wear their paraphernalia and want to be unified with them. Okay, nobody who opposed Nazis would ever wear something with a swastika on it. And President Biden not only wore it, he took a picture on it. Now that picture is all over social media. It's going to be in TV commercials, digital ads. Donald Trump's campaign immediately, as you heard in the news report, thanked Joe for the support. Another post from them said, Kamala did so bad in last night's debate, Joe Biden put on a Trump hat. <laughs> this is why you got to keep Joe Biden in the basement. Right? <laughs> we not going back. OK, since oh, the VP man. has been the nominee, since she's been at the top of the ticket, you see all the Democrats who have political courage and who are actually good at messaging front and center. You see Governor Josh Shapiro. You see Governor Gretchen Whitmer. You see uh, Secretary Pete. You see Congresswoman Jasmine Cockrey. You see Jasmine Crockett. You see Congresswoman wow. Ayanna Presley. OK, just to name a few. These individuals have political courage. They aren't cowards at all. And they have very clear, relatable messaging. Joe Biden represents a regime that simply doesn't have the courage to stand up up to the bullies. A day after we watched the VP bully the bully, the president of the United States of America is back trying to get along with the bully. He wants a gesture of unity with the bully. That's terrible messaging. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something, President Biden. If Donald Trump gets back in office, he's putting you in jail. All right. He's already vowed to prosecute his political opponents. Trump wrote on social media just this past weekend. When I win, those people that cheated will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law, which will include long term prison sentences. Uh, and please beware that please beware that this legal exposure extends to lawyers, political operatives, donors, illegal voters and corrupt election officials. This man is going to lock your ass up if he becomes president again and you wearing his hat. <laughs> you wearing his campaign paraphernalia. This is why Democrats have to keep Joe Biden in hiding. Every time Joe Biden steps outside, his GPS tells him he's arrived, but it's never where he meant to go. OK, I don't want him talking to anyone. I don't want him answering any questions. Can you imagine Joe Biden having a press conference right now, having to navigate his way through tough questions like what's today's date? And then after Biden took a picture in the hat, he took a picture with a bunch of kids with Trump paraphernalia on. This Biden was trying to do, you know, a little photo op with kids and trying to show everybody that we still America, even on 9-11, even on September 11th, we are still one country. Mr. Charlemagne says, hell no, you crossed the line, old man. <laughs> Look, I'm all for bipartisan togetherness, okay? But not when you're trying to win an election. And somebody please tell President Biden, this isn't the Republican Party he came up with, okay? It's MAGA. I don't know why Republicans just gave the party to MAGA, but they did. And I don't know, maybe President Biden thinks MAGA stands for Make America Geriatric Again. This is the same guy, Charlemagne, that said there was nothing wrong with Biden. He was sharp as a tack until... Ms. Harris came in, and now they're ready to throw him overboard. Sick of the disrespect to old people, and he wants you to know bingo nights and IHOP senior citizen specials will never go out of style. Make America geriatric again, because who needs fast Wi-Fi when you've got a rocking chair and a good story? The moral of the story is, President Biden, it's time for you to move like a VP for these last 50 days and just be quiet. Okay? <laughs> Please give President Joe Biden the biggest hee-haw. Come on. Wow. Well, there you go. Thank you, Charlemagne, for throwing your guy under the bus again. <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell Kamala I said hi. <laughs> you go, girl. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you liberals, get your ass off my lawn. <laughs>